Yo, what is going down with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, man, boys, and man, girls, and of course, as always, talk as Nikki out there's the one and only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony for 2011, aka Man Wolverine, and of course, you guys are rest in interest in the Natural Swords channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all the good stuff, and before to begin real quick, um, fortunately, oh man, hopefully I'm really, really not getting that sick of, so I kind of keeping my voice a little bit lower, lower energy today, so, um, Bear with me. This is like the second time this month, like I said. I don't know why that's even happening, but other than that, let's begin. This is going to be a really, really short video. I was going to do like a One Punch Man too. I'll probably do that a little bit later on because, um, oh man, I don't have energy to do more than one video today. This is probably going to be the only one to do. I do. It's crazy because I heard about it just yesterday, even though it's been out for about five, six days already. The official anime trailer for One Punch Man Season 2, which is April 4th, by the way. But I'm talking about a different anime series. Um, and that just came out way back in April 9th, so I'm a little bit late to this party. But I've never heard of this anime series. I never even watched any of the episodes or let alone played the smartphone game. I think it comes out this fall of 2018, that October, November. Pretty sure that's when it's going to be landing at. Oh, and uh, yeah, I found it through my Twitter account. I, I didn't find the Anime News Network one. I know it's around there somewhere. But yeah, if you want to, you can follow me there if you want to. Usually I just like post about like, not just Pokemon stuff. I go cover a bunch of whole other things that I follow over there as well. And some things a little controversial than others. <laughs> yeah, so um, I did see the trailer for this. It's only like 50 seconds long. It's really, really super short. So links to the description box down below that. See, like I said before, August 9th. So this is Kabinari of the Iron Fortress browser smartphone game. The game's new visual reveals this reveals fall release. And shout out to Rafael Antonio Pedena. Hopefully I said that right. Pedina, Pedena. So it says the official website, I'm probably going to butcher this saying, Koti Sujo no Kabanari Yodan Haji Maru Michiako. Or I guess in English, it's translated to Kabanari of the Iron Fist, Revolt Beginning Attracts. Tracks, not Attracts. DMM Games, PC browser, smartphone games for the Kabanari Iron Fist franchise unveiled a new visual. And fall release date for this game on Saturday. And the game was previously slated for the summer. Oh, I didn't know that. So this was a little bit delayed in the summertime. So it ended up coming for the fall. I don't know. Maybe they had to like fix a few bugs or glitches or people like prevent them from hacking to other people's accounts. Maybe that's why they decided to like hold back this game until fall. It's usually October, November. Sometimes late September for other places, but <laughs> we're in Vegas. So it doesn't even get cold until about like November. So. That's when it was fall for me, personally. So it goes on to say, the site is also streaming a video with similar footage as a teaser video from March earlier this year, but showing the fall release date. Okay, that's cool. And uh, yeah, this game, this game, this article's a little lengthy, so if you guys want to read it on your own, links will be provided down below. Let's move forward. DMM Games. That sounds like a tongue twister saying it more than five times fast. <laughs> games announced... That the, at the Tokyo Game Show in 2016, at the time it was slated for winter 2017, Notimana released the two drama CDs that tie into the game's plot for screening the Kabanati of the Iron Fortress compilation, and then so it was films. Oh, this was a film series? Oh, it was an anime TV series. I don't know. I don't think it made it here to the United States because I've never heard of this in English dub. Let me know in the comments below if any you guys have ever heard of this before. It's the first time I'm hearing about it since yesterday. So it says the game... Actually, no, this one I actually heard about two weeks ago. I just haven't had any time to cover it until now. The game will be a turn-based RPG that takes place after the end of the anime. And, will and it will include familiar characters such as Ikoma and Murimai. The game will also add original characters' designs with Wit Studios. The animation studios behind the original anime, Junpei Kasako, Kazuka, I think that's how you say it, who handled the overall settings in the anime of the Konitsu, da da da, Kabanari non Force novel, it was writing the game story. Oh, okay, so it was, might have like a connection after the end of the anime. It's like after story, extra DLC content, but instead of this being an anime TV series or a movie series, this ends up being like JRPG. I don't know. Hopefully it does well, because if it doesn't, it's going to be crap for me, in my own personal opinion. Alright, so uh, it says the original Kabanati and Iron Force anime aired April through July of 2016. 
The series streamed on Amazon Prime Video. Streamed on Amazon Prime Video with English subtitles as it aired in Japan. The quote steampunk survival action unquote story takes place on the island country of Hinamoto, where humans have themselves excuse me hide themselves the fortresses call stations against the threat of zombie like beings with steel hearts known as kabane hopefully I said that right I don't know what that means in English translation well, anyone lets me know down below I don't know I might sub to your channel because <laughs> man that sounds pretty damn cool only armored locomotives known as Hirajiro go between the stations. The anime reunited director Tetsura Akira Araki, Arake, they can say, say, with studios, the teams responsible for Attack on Titan, Kogias, and creator Ichi, Ichiro Oko, Okochi, Ichiro Ikochi, who wrote the scripts. Hanricho Min, Mikimoto, Macross 7, and Gumbla. I heard about all of these ones. All four of these animes are damn freaking good. Everyone knows, obviously, AOT and Kogias because those are very, extremely popular animes. You ever, never seen Macross 7? That thing is really damn good too. It made me cry in a couple episodes. When I'm rambling off topic. <laughs> so, uh, let's move on. Design the original characters. Yeah, it does have a little bit of some cyberpunk steampunk sort of thing going on. So it has a lot of mecha in it from what I saw in a 50 second trailer. As I was saying before, Hiroki Sawano, hopefully I said that right, Hiroyuki Sawano from Attack on Titan and Aldena, Alda Noah Zero, I never heard of that one, composed the music. The series has also been received at the two compilation films premiered in December 2016 and January 2017 in Japan. The two films covered the anime's first season with some of the new and enhanced scenes. Crunchyroll screened the films of North America's Theaters in April 2017. Okay, so this is pretty damn recent. Last year. The anime will get a new sequel of the new anime films titled Kotsuyoshi no Kabanari Unato Kesson. Okay. Kabanari Iron Fortress Unato Decisive Battle. Okay, so that's what made it different. Unato Decisive Battle. And there goes the sources right there if you want to read them yourself. But overall thoughts, use and opinions, my friends. Um. The artwork looks like a really, really serious hardcore anime. I didn't really see nobody laughing or smiling that much unless it was smile with determination or like positivity. That's like the only times I saw him smile. If you want to click that, the link is down here too. And some people were comparing this character to like the chick from Attack on Titan, Mikasa. I can see a few similarities to her and Mikasa, but she actually looks a lot more better looking than Mikasa did. That's my favorite character in that show before she died in the first or second season that Attack on Titan was Annie. Annie was super pretty as fuck. I loved her amount. Not just because she, what's it called, transforms one of the super evil titans from Attack on Titan, but her backstory, man, is so tragic, but it's, it's really, really well written. Shout out to the director and the scriptwriter producers for making, like, her character, like, synopsis. Oh my god, it was perfect, man. It was even way better than Mikasa. You know, Mikasa has, like, a little bit of a sad, tragic, bullying, like, um, childhood of her past, because I remember I watched the first season of AOT at the time, like, almost four years ago when I saw it, and it was sad, because I think her mom and her dad, they get stabbed and stabbed to death in front of her, and then she ends up going crazy, and she just starts slicing those fuckers in half like crazy, which they rightfully deserve, because, hey, that would have been me, I probably did the same thing, but, <laughs> fuck that, going to prison, screw that. <laughs> if this was, like, an anime world, I would totally do that. And it sucks. I mean, her backstory thing's real sad and tragic too, but it just doesn't measure up the same way Annie's did. Because her dad was kind of a little bit of an asshole dipshit that kept pushing her to be a stronger, harder fighter and be a cold-blooded bitch. But that's what I loved about Annie a lot more compared to, like, um, Mikasa. My own personal opinion. And then there was the other one, Petra. Petra was cool, but, you know, she used to hang out with Levi and stuff and suck when she died, but I actually didn't cry when she died. When Annie got froze into, like, that little, like, cryogenic state that she ended up becoming crystal that's when i broke down and cried so much like no my wife annie's gone no <laughs> and really sucked a lot of balls when happened but then as far as this anime like turning into a jrpg or turn-based action game hopefully it does well there's a lot of anime smartphone games out there there's like at this point almost millions if not thousands at least about millions of them on a smartphone. I paid about maybe 40 or 50 of them. Some of them I do play for free. And the other ones I'm not going to pay money for. Because I'm a cheap bastard prick like that. 
with that being said, I'll um, leave the links to description box down below. I know I didn't show their Twitter account, but you can follow them on Facebook or Twitter if you want. Shout out to Anime News Network and shout out to um, Rafael Antonio Panita or Padena, however you say that person's name. Apologize if you're watching this video. <laughs> I'm not doing that on purpose. I'm just trying to save the best of my abilities. But yeah, and that's it. Links to description box down below and article <clears throat> description box below as well in the mount. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls. And of course, as always, I'll talk to those Yankee Kimonis out there. I'll see you when I see you guys. Good day, have a good night, wherever you're at around the world out there. Don't drink smoke with at the same time. Don't drink them reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it good life out there. And until the next time, guys, peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned more videos coming soon. Rain the on shit almost every single day. Stay in the grind. Stay easy. Stay, easy. stay safe. Stay healthy. Be easy yourself. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it electro out there. Stay tuned for future content on this channel, including video game industry news, anime manga news, um, internet news when September comes around the corner next month, outdoor chat and breeze logs I will be posting up soon, so stay on the lookout for that. Um, take it easy. Stay safe. Peace out. I'm like Sauerkraut. Late to goodbye. I'll see you all on the flip side. Um, take it easy. I'm gone. I'm out. And hey, yeah. if anyone knows about this anime, let me know. I might watch it in my own time, but I'm still watching a lot of the Boku no Hero and a lot of Steins Gate right now, and a little bit of the Fooly Cooly shit too, the remount master version of that. So uh, hopefully in due time I'll watch this. See you guys soon. Later.